Hey what's up guys, it is Saiku Rustami here and welcome back to the channel and today I'm really excited to bring you guys a brand new episode of an asset review in Unity. In this video we're going to talk about an asset called Low Poly Animated Animals. And before we begin guys, I just want to give a quick shout out to every single person on the Discord server. By the way, if you guys didn't know, we have a Discord server for game development right now. Uh, we're developing a community game, well actually we're coming up with the idea, we have some game gems, we have some uh, giveaways, we have the videos shared upon the platform, and we're also having a lot of fun together and we're sharing off some ideas, tutorials, etc. So if you want to join up, make sure to click the link in the description down below, I'll also spam it in the comment section, so make sure to click it, you'll find it literally everywhere. And with that being said, let's get right into the video. Alrighty guys, so as I said before, we're going to talk about the asset Low Poly Animated Animals. It's an asset pack developed by Pavel Nowak. I actually made a asset review before, I think it was one of my first asset reviews in Unity 2. Um, he was the developer of the Low Poly Ultimate pack, I guess it was called, if I recall the name correctly. And I loved that asset, so let's see if I like this one as much. So basically, Low Poly Animated Animals is a pack that contains high quality rigged low poly animals with animations, stunning demo scenes, and a wonder script. The asset is located under 3D models and animals and it comes with a price tag of 25 bucks. This asset can be used for any kind of low poly and stylized game you're creating which can make use of animals mainly. I also tried the asset with 2D view, the 2D system in Unity that is built in and it works perfectly fine. It's mainly pointed for 3D games but it doesn't matter if you use 2D because it works just as fine. Personally I also loved playing with the top down view when using this asset because it really made the animals stick out the a little bit more um, but still it works perfectly fine if you have like a closed or zoom in camera so it doesn't matter but the top-down level really made it fit with the animals this pack includes 13 animals in it includes animal textures environment textures great looking animations mechanism support and incredible demo scenes that you can actually use for inspiration and even more we're also going to quickly go through the developer response which is pretty much how fast the developer is responding and how regular the asset update seem to be so first and foremost the developer is pretty responsive to the asset reviews and the feedback um, I've seen that Pavel is actually very responsive when it comes to you know support etc if you need any help with the assets so I'm not really worrying on that part um, the current version of the asset is 1.2.2 um, th this version was released in October 2017, which wasn't a long time ago. And the release date, the initial version was also released under July 2017, so that wasn't too long ago neither. And before getting into what comes in the asset, which is pretty much the part where I show you guys what actually follows in the asset inside of Unity, uh, we're quickly going to go through the pros and cons for this asset, which is also going to include a few personal opinions of mine, but I'm gonna save them for later as well. So first and foremost, there, are, there is great quality on on the animals so you, you're not going to have any problem with the animals looking unrealistic just because of the fact that it's low poly I know that Pavel is an amazing touch for low poly and stylized scenes and all these animals etc um, I wasn't actually very sure of if they if the animals were going to be very good as the the low poly ultimate scene which is a environment scene but they were and I'm really satisfied with them next up guys we're also going to talk about something which is a clue in the name of the assets so there are stunning animals animations in this asset pack. Um, this is going to be connected to a con also, so make sure to watch that part. It's not a very big deal, but we're going to talk about it because I want to nitpick a little bit extra. Um, but there are stunning animations. You're going to be able to use them with the legacy animation system and the mechanism system because they have support for both. And they are incredible. I really like the animations. They're pretty smooth and flawless, so I'm not having any trouble with them. There's also a included free wonder script allowing you to skip coding the animal AI to wander around realistically so this is one that you can actually use for a little bit more like basic kind of scenes if you have like a level design I'm pretty sure that I'm going to use the wonder wonder script for my level designs because it's pretty much 
creators for that kind of stuff. Uh, it doesn't, you know, purposely make a good animal AI system. Like, it's not a fully developed system, right? It's just a wonder script that is still created pretty realistically. I'm in love with it because it's so simple, it's so easy to just implement it into your animals to make sure that your scene has some motion inside of it. And it comes for free, so I can't really complain onto that. I'm also in love with the demo scenes that are following in this asset. I'm also going to show you guys a few of them when we are actually going to talk about what comes in the asset, which is the visual part where I show you guys what actually follows in the asset. And I'm in love with them because they are very exemplary and really like a good example of how a low poly scene can look. And it really shows off that Pavel has, you know, focused on making realistic image effects or not making them, but, you know, adding the image effects and making them as realistic as possible. So if you want to, you know, have a example or like an inspiration source for your low poly level design or your just like image effects, etc., you can definitely copy the components that are located in the main camera of these demo scenes. There are many demo scenes, so you're not gonna have any like lack of source or whatever, lack of inspiration. So you can definitely use them to actually gain some inspiration. One thing that I really was shocked about is the fact that there are grass textures that follow in this asset and they look pretty good. Like they're low poly and they look amazing. I'm really in love with them. I'm definitely going to use them for my level designing purposes as well. For the YouTube channel, low key, there are going to be level designs coming up, especially in low poly. So subscribe if you wanna stay up to tune for that. But but the asset is also very price worthy in my opinion, like $25 for a content rich asset it's pretty good and it almost becomes like two dollars for each animal with great looking animation so i mean for me it's a deal and before we move on to what actually comes in the asset last but not least we're going to talk about a con so this is one single con and it's like i said it's connected to the animations and it's pretty much the fact that there are not many animations in the pack there are quite few rather so most have run most animals have run walk idle and death animations one shark i saw was uh, has a attack animation as well but if you want to make a game where you can attack with all the animals you will have to find some animations or make them yourself like i said it's not a big deal like it's not a turn off point for me it doesn't really matter to be honest i can easily find any other animation that i want to but it's still worth mentioning because I'm trying to be as unbiased as possible when reviewing assets. I know that sometimes I can come off as biased, but I want to change that, obviously. So this is a little bit of nitpicking, but it's still worth mentioning, too. Alrighty guys, so here we are in Unity and now we're finally going to see what actually follows in this asset. I'm really excited to show this off because we have a lot of demo scenes here. We're not going to go through all of them, perhaps. <laughs> I'm not sure yet, but we'll see how it unfolds. So, first and foremost, we have the main folder here called Locally Animated Animals. Then we have these folders inside of them, uh, inside of the main folder, obviously. We're going to go through all of them, but first and foremost, I just want to show you guys the demo scenes. So, First, we have a model scene. Uh, it includes pretty much all the models that follow us in this asset. You can also see that we have some trees in the background. Um, then we have like a swamp, I guess. It's a coral. I'm sorry, okay. <laughs> and the amazing thing, IMO, is the fact that this coral has also got an animation. I saw this in the animation folder, uh, which is pretty sick, actually. I was not expecting it to have an animation created for it. But we have leaves, we have some ground, like you know, shadow rocks, etc. Uh, we have a cactus. I mean, it's a cactus, so you can't really complain. But these are pretty much the models that follow us in this asset. Then we have the actual demo scenes, which is pretty much like a incredible scenery created by Pavel. I'm really, really proud of him for <laughs> creating such an amazing scene. You can see that the post processings are amazing in these scenes. Um, I'm really satisfied with them because this is a very good example of how you can use the assets that are that are in this uh, the asset pack too. So you can use all these models. You can use the leaves floating, etc. Uh, then we have the cow. We have an elephant. We have literally one for every single uh, every single asset or every single model that follows in this asset. So it's really good. I'm really really satisfied with the demo scenes. This this actually looks incredible. So next up guys, we have the controllers folder, which is pretty much where all the animations are located. They are pre-built for Mechanim, but you can also transform them into normal legacy animation. Um, 
And these are pretty much like you can double click them and it will open up in the animator scene. And you can see that we don't have that many animations like I said in the cons part, but it doesn't really matter. I mean, it's pretty good for, for the price of this asset, honestly. And you can find any kind of animation you want. They're rigged, so just import them and make sure that they work with your rigged uh, models that actually come with this asset. So next up, we also have the scripts folder. Uh, this includes pretty much the scripts that are used by the asset demos. Um, it also includes the wonder script. I guess I can't really find it right now. I might have like deleted it by <laughs> by accident, um, or else it might be located somewhere else. But it, it does have an animation, or like a I read animation, so I said animation. <laughs> uh, it does have a wonder script, so it doesn't. I'm just don't worry about that. Um, but we have some, you know, demo scripts here, so no problem there. Then we have the terrains pack, which is pretty much the terrains that are also in the demo. Um, then we have the textures folder, and it also includes a couple of folders, one being the animals, one being the UI. Pretty much, it's just the textures for the animals themselves. You can edit them in Photoshop if you want to change the colors, but editing the materials might be a little bit easier. Then you also have the UI textures, so uh, these actually look pretty cool. I really like the icons for the environment. They look really simplistic and very good for a low-poly game, I guess. You can also see it in the scene or the game window here. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the texture folder. And then last but not least, we have a UI folder. Uh, I'm really just now seeing this. Uh, it's pretty much a font, so it's not a big deal here. But you can use this font for you know creating your scenes as well. So uh, it's a font that suits the low poly design with the fact that these, these are very simplistic looking. So uh, you can use the font for that kind of effect as well. And that was pretty much just what follows in this asset when you purchase it and open it in Unity for the first time. So before we end the video, I just want to get into a conclusion and pretty much a comment on who would I recommend this asset to. So if you're making a low poly game where you want the animals to fit with your scenes, you know, suit the scenes you're creating, and you want to have some demo scenes you can actually use for a source of inspiration for just $25, I mean, this asset is pretty good for that. Obviously, the animals are already pre-built as rigged, so you're going to be able to implement your own animations if you want to create them or if you want to purchase them but you can also obviously use the ones that are following in this asset i think you can see the animations in this asset pack is like a little demo for how the like an inspiration source like the scenes where uh for how the animals can actually be you know smoothly animated which is actually incredible but it's still usable too like they're not bad animations that you don't want to use for your you know games or whatever it might be they're still usable and they're they're very very good actually and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for being here all the time i really appreciate you guys and especially for those of you who have already joined the discord server it's incredible thank you guys so much we're already at like 500 or 400 members i guess it's been up for like a half a half in a day it's incredible thank you guys so much and more than the like the number itself the amount of people that are actually active in the community, creating a community game, etc., you know, sharing some ideas, thoughts, tips and tricks, etc., with each other is incredible. That's the most important part for me because if we only, even if we were only just 100 people, if I see 90 people chatting with each other, that's what I'm satisfied about. I also want to give a quick shout out to Luke and Miggle, who are the admins on the server right now. They're in amazing people. Like, I really, really, really can't even pay you guys with money for the amount of work you have put into the server. You've taken care of literally everything, and I appreciate you guys so, so much. And if you guys haven't joined the server yet, what the hell are you waiting for? We're literally having so much fun there, and we're doing pretty much everything from a community game to game jams to competitions, prizes, etc. Giveaways are also coming so it's going to be very exciting moments that are waiting for us on the server and um, leave I'm gonna leave the link in the description down below it's an invitation link just for you um, no but really it's an invitation link you can just click it and you will be joining the server right away and with that being said guys make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you guys enjoy this type of content there's going to be a lot more asset reviews level designs etc I know you guys want to see more low poly so that's what I'm bringing you guys and um, leave a comment down below what you think of this asset and also leave a comment down below if you want to see another asset being reviewed by me. If you have any assets, let me know. Um, also leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And with that being said, I will catch you in the comments or the Discord server. So see you guys there. Bye bye.